What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Commitment Series. And you guys, Mississippi Valley got another one. And this one, this one is a game changer. Like, this one is going to be that guy for sure, especially with what Mississippi Valley was able to do running-wise this past season or this season. So, give Coach Nancy his credit. Give him his flowers, right? Because he is truly turning this program around, right? Not overnight, but he's truly turning it around for the better. And he's using this transfer portal uh, and he's recruiting to his benefit. So I give him so much credit for that because he's doing an, an amazing job, right? So before we get started, before I tell you about this player, if you would like to donate to the channel, you could do so right here. I will put that picture up through Cash App. Anything you give is greatly appreciated. Um... With that being said, let's get into this player because I think you're going to really enjoy this one, all right? He, he goes by the name of Hollywood Dingle. His real name is Azan, Azan, but, you know, nickname Hollywood, Hollywood Dingle, right? So, Hollywood is 6'2", 210 pounds, and he's a running back, of course, from Bayonne, Georgia, Bayonne New Jersey, Bayonne, Bayonne, New Jersey, um, he goes to Tyler Community College in Tyler, Texas. Now, he does have four years left of eligibility, and he is a December graduate. He graduates this month if he has not done so already, which means he's going to be on campus a lot sooner than you think, right? But yeah, four years left of eligibility, which is great, right? And dude is just big like he's a big running back a 6'2 running back is hard to come by those are the derrick henry limit for net type backs and that's exactly what this dude is right so just to go over his stats 908 yards he averages 7.1 yards a carry let me say that again he averages hollywood averages 7.1 yards a carry that is huge for Mississippi Valley State. And he also had five touchdowns on the year on 128 carries. Now, he was second all conference as a running back. When I look at him, he has the ball carrier vision of Le'Veon Bell in his prime. Not comparing him to Le'Veon, but the ball carrier vision is something that I see that he has. Like, like he has the patience to let the hole develop, and then he finds the hole with ease every time, right? On top of that, he got his truck stick badge for sure. I don't know how many of y'all play uh, 2K, right? But, you know, there's a certain badge that you get when you're good at something. He got that truck stick badge for sure. If you get in his way, he will bowl you over. He's 6'2". He's every bit of 6'2", 210 pounds, pure muscle. This kid will bowl you over and not think twice about it. So that's that, right? And he also has decent speed. I don't think people realize that. His speed is really good, right? Um, You don't expect him to run as fast as... uh. Like a like a shorter back, you know, like you don't expect him to be a speed back at six two, but he's not slow. Far from it, as a matter of fact. Um, in defensive backs, if he makes it to the second level, yeah, good luck trying to tackle him. You better dive at legs and hope, hope you can come through the tack, uh, come through with the tackle. Otherwise, you're gonna end up on Mr. Go Thirties video if you know who I'm talking about. Uh, dude is just too hard too hard to take down he'll hurt you he'll stiff arm you um he'll run you over so dbs beware right like you got to know how to come at this dude if it's just you and him in the open space otherwise it's going he gonna be gone every time and he looks like he's virtually impossible to stop if he gets a full head of steam right like if he like you know one thing about derrick henry right you can't let him get a full head of steam running the ball otherwise your chances of stopping him just decrease that much more i think the same thing when i look at hollywood dingle right you just, you have to stop his momentum you can't let him you can't let him just run downhill with ease you got to let him go even he can even go sideways that would be uh a disadvantage that a lot of running backs have, like his size have, right? Uh, bigger running backs, they can go downhill with ease, but if you force them to go laterally to the outside and then try to maneuver forward, they can't do so. He can do so. That's another thing that he brings to his arsenal. On top of that, he is going to be the bell cow for Mississippi Valley. I, I do believe 
he will be the bell cow. Third and short, obviously, uh, he can catch out of the backfield, of course, which is another thing you would love to use him as. I think he's just going to be a game-changing player for Mississippi Valley State. Now, all I want to see Coach Nancy do is get a quarterback. That's uh, that's what that's what I want to see the most uh, from Mississippi Valley. But I love all these pieces that they have brought in. It's looking really, really good. Uh, like I said, give this man his credit because what he doing ain't no small feat, right? But y'all let me know what y'all think down below about this kid in the comment section because I'm genuinely interested. Uh, with that being said, man, you are watching the CFL Commitment Series. I go by the name of Kobe, and I'm out. Peace. I got more videos coming today, so look out for that, but I'm gone.